for many years, you would have separate boxes. You'd have a clock, you'd have an A to D converter, you'd then have a mic pre first, and then you'd go into an A to D converter, then you'd go to the conversion, then you'd come back to a D to A. You'd have all these little separate boxes. The matrix puts it all in one box, so it's a plug here, a plug there. It's all Dante, Matt, Maddie, all the latest technologies and so forth. So it's a very simple and straightforward interface. And, um, uh, and we've been playing with it uh, this week, and it's, uh, it's pretty terrific. When uh, the technology for personal monitoring, self-mixing at your station came in, that, that was just great for me, you know, that I didn't have to stop the session, stop the flow of the session to get the engineer to give me more kick, give me more hi-hat. You know, it's like the fact that I could reach over and do that myself, and I like that. So we were, we were able to set that up. Um, you know, Matrix gives you an, an e easy way to do that. To have that stuff routed back seamlessly and to give us the control over it means that we can get comfortable really fast. And it sounds good, man. What I'm hearing come back through the, through the Q system sounds good. You know, it's, fun. it's making it fun to play. I can't tell you how many times years ago you'd have 10 or 12 people in a room and every single one of them wants a different headphone mix. They all do, of course they do. They're hearing it from a different perspective than anyone else in the room. So why in hell would we think that we could get a mix that would work for everybody? All these musicians are always dealing with compromises. Well, the less I can compromise what they're hearing while they're playing, the better they're gonna play. How do you get a guitar player to stay quiet? Put a sheet of music in front of it. <laughs> <Nice. laughs> Look, we, we have a, uh, a great band. We have um, uh, some great material. We're in a great room and we're sitting there and me being me, one of the first things I would say is, God, this is so great. Let's just go top of the line. If I felt that by taking all that stuff out of the matrix and putting it into the Neve and then recording it on an analog tape machine or whatever was going to make this even a more superior product, I would say, folks, this is what we're going to do. I haven't had one moment's thought about doing anything like that. This is this. I mean, everybody here, we're all sitting there listening to the playback and we're all saying, wow, this is this is pretty fantastic. you're in performance mode, especially in a live tracking situation with other people, that's a conversation really. So you want to be present for that conversation. I don't want to be thinking about mics, I don't want to be thinking about technology, software, I don't care. At that moment I don't care about any of that. I'm, right now we're having a talk, you know? What are, you, what, what are we talking about? You know, what, what are we talking about today, all right? Oh, I like that, you know? And that's what makes the music happen. You know, the fact that we can have an effective conversation with each other and that we can translate that and invite you into that conversation as an audience member, right? And hopefully everyone agrees. Now, I used to always say, what is a hit record other than a document that everyone agrees on, right? So that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to create something that means something to people and hopefully they agree.